What's up guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with my October favourites and there have been lots of products that I have been loving this month and I have gathered them all together and I need to talk to you about them. So let's get straight into it. So the first product that I have been absolutely loving this month is the Biore charcoal soap bar. Now, I don't know if I'm butchering that pronunciation. It could be Biore or Biore, I'm not too sure. But basically it is this charcoal soap. Now the soap is currently sitting in my shower and you know when you start to use soap and it starts to like disintegrate a bit? It's not exactly camera ready right now. So I did fish the box out from the bin so I could show you guys what the packaging looks like. It actually has a picture of the soap on the box there. So as you can see, it is a black bar of soap. It has little granules in it and it is supposed to just be deeply kind of pore penetrating and exfoliating. The reason that I got this is because I I was finding that I was getting lots of annoying little blackheads on my shoulders and like the nape of my neck and I know that it's because of my spin classes. I go to spinning like three, four, sometimes five times a week and it is a sweaty class. They heat the room up and you sweat a lot. And this product has been doing absolute wonders. It, I really feel like it's been working and it's not very expensive either. I think I paid about seven euro for it. It might be a little bit too harsh to use on your face, but for me, for my chest and back and shoulders, it's been brilliant, so I will definitely be repurchasing this as soon as it runs out. So next up in my favourites roundup, I have a makeup item and it is this Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. Now there has been so much hype about this online, it has definitely been an eagerly awaited product and I have to say that it really does live up to the hype. I am so, so impressed with it. So as you can see, it has an amazing selection of neutral shades. They're all matte, there's no shimmer in here, which I really, really like and I have been absolutely loving it. Some of my favourite shades to use have been Blow, which I use all over the eye. I've also been using Commando in the crease, and I've also been loving Extra Bitter. It's like this lovely kind of warm, rusty colour. I think everybody already knows that the Naked palettes are such good neutral eyeshadow palettes, so if you're in the market for a good eyeshadow palette that has a wide range of neutrals, I think the Naked Ultimate Basics is a really, really good choice. I have been using it non-stop. So next up in beauty, I have a perfume and it is the Giorgio Armani C perfume. Now I have so many friends that really, really love this perfume, but I have never tried it out for myself. And I have to say, I am really, really impressed with it. Again, I said this in my last favorites video, I'm really not great at describing smells. I wouldn't say it's a strength of mine. It feels like quite a warm scent. And for me, it feels like something that's very autumnal and winter appropriate. Like it kind of reminds me of like mulled wine and kind of being warm and cozy. And I have no idea if that's actually a reflection of what it smells like, but that's what it smells like for me. I think the best thing to do is when you're in a shop or a pharmacy, try it out for yourself. I really, really like it. So next up in beauty, I have another product by Giorgio Armani and it is the Lip Magnets range. And now I was lucky enough to be sent their entire collection in a lovely little display, which was amazing. And the two in particular that I have really been loving are the two red colors. Now one of them is the shade 400 and I actually wore that in my, in one of my previous videos, there's another even brighter red, which is 302. So they glide onto the lips really, really easily but they don't feel drying and they are a liquid lipstick. They stay and they kind of dry like a matte lip. I have used these lipsticks all day. I've eaten food, drank coffee, and they have really, really held up. So I do think that the, the lip magnet formula is very, very good. There are some other berry shades in the range, but the two reds are definitely my favorite. So next up, we are moving on to products. And the first product that is definitely a monthly favorite is this hair dryer. And then last week I got contacted by the creators of this hair dryer. It's called Lana, Lana I Blow again. Oh, pronunciation. I'm not too sure if that's right. I think it's Lani Blow. I was contacted by them to see if I wanted to try out the hairdryer and see if I liked it. And of course I said yes, because I really did need a new hairdryer. Because the hairdryer that I was using up until now is no joke about five years old. So the premise behind this product is that it's a professional hair dryer, but at an affordable price and it comes in at 99 euro. So it is, you know, very affordable if you're looking for a good quality hair dryer. It's really lightweight. It really is not that heavy. And it also has a super long cord. I think the cord's about two meters long. I still have the box that it came in here and it's uh, 2,400 watts 
anti-static, adds shine and lightweight and yeah it basically does what it says on the tin, it's a really nice hair dryer. Now something that has nothing to do with the performance of the hair dryer but really does make it that much more special is the fact that you can get it personalized. Now I don't know if you can see it here properly but it has my name on it and this is an option that's available to anybody buying it. When you pay for the hair dryer you get the option to add a name on it. So whether you're buying it for yourself and you want to put your name on it or if you're getting it as a gift for somebody it's such a cute idea. So definitely I had to feature this on my favourites. I'm really really impressed with it and I have happily put my old hair dryer out to pasture. It's going to a charity shop to see if anybody else can get any use out of it. So next up in my favourites roundup is probably my most favourite thing that I've been using in October and it is this little guy. This is the Canon G7X Mark II camera and if you follow me on Instagram which is at Kira O'Darty or Snapchat or Facebook you will have seen and heard me talk about this camera. So basically it is hailed as the best vlogging camera on the market and you guys know that I'm a huge fan of the Olympus Pen EPL7. It's what I'm filming this video on right now and that's the only camera that I've ever promoted on my blog, you know, ever. So for me to really take notice and start using another camera means that it would have to be a really, really good one. I still use my Olympus for taking all of my, you know, editorial high-res photos for my website with that lovely blurry background. You guys know if you follow my channel, I've been doing a lot more daily, weekly vlogs and I needed something super compact and super lightweight. And this guy, like, look how tiny it is. It fits in your hand. It even fits in my YSL blogger bag. Like, it is such a compact camera. It doesn't have any detachable lenses. And it's just such a favorite. I've been using it nonstop. It comes with me in my bag every single day. Even if I don't bring a bag out with me, I just slip it in my pocket. It is so, so handy. Now, I'm actually gonna dedicate a separate video with a full review of this camera, including some tips on how I use it. But I just wanted to throw it into my favorites roundup because I have been using this nonstop and I am so, so impressed with it. So next up, we are moving on to fashion. And my biggest fashion favorite of the month has to be this Rebecca Minkoff bag. Now, you would have seen this in my autumn winter haul that I posted last week. It's very much on the affordable end of designers so I think it was about 200 euro and it's just a really really practical bag. If you want to have a better look at it and all its kind of little features um, check out the haul because I talk through the bag. This has been my go-to bag since I got it. It's been the one that I've been grabbing every day. It fits my vlog camera, my wallet, keys, everything that I need and it just goes with all of my outfits. So yeah this has definitely been a fashion favourite. I've been getting a lot of use out of it. It's actually still in stock on Shopop so I will leave a link below if you want to check it out. Um, all of the Rebecca Minkoff bags are all really really nice and very affordable as well. She's a really good designer to look at for like an entry level um, designer purchase. So yeah, I've been really, really enjoying this. My next fashion favourite isn't really a fashion item. It's more loungewear. Well, no, it definitely is loungewear. And it is my teddy bear dressing gown from Misguided. Again, you guys would have seen this in my haul video. And I told you guys that I was going to be living in it. And I have been. Basically, since I've got it, I've been, wore I've been wearing it every single day, either in the mornings or in the evenings or sometimes during the day when I get a little bit cold, I put it on over my clothes, like it is so warm. I just feel like the bear emoji when I wear it, it is so cute. It's pretty much like a hug in a dressing gown. I mean, how can you be sad when you're wearing this? We are almost finished with my October favorites roundup and I have one more thing to show you. So the last thing that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about are my new emu slippers. They're so cozy. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you will have seen me freak out about these. They literally arrived this morning and to say that I was excited is an understatement. I have wanted a pair of these for the longest time. They're basically a sheepskin lined boot, but they are sturdy so that you can wear them outside. I mean, they, they could be an outside boot, but a lot of people pick up this particular style and wear them as a slipper. So as you can see, they have this really like furry shearling lined interior, such, such high quality and like so soft. When you put your feet in here, it is like a hug. It is so nice. They also have this flap that you can wear down like this or you can fold up. So the price of these are 99 euro, which might seem expensive for a slipper, but if you think about how much you wear your favorite pair of slippers, like for me, because I work from home, I spend so much time at home and while I'm in the house, these will be on my feet without fail. If I'm not in my bed, 
I will be wearing these. So at the same time, the fact that they have that like rubber sole means that you can wear them outside. So if I have to grab a package from the postman, I can run out in these without ruining them, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Now you might think that I'm such a granny for getting so excited about a pair of slippers. I get really, really cold feet in the winter. The room that I work from I've worked in here for three winters now and it does get very cold in the winter. Even if I turn on the heat, it just doesn't really make a difference. So having a pair of boots like this, they will be worth their weight in gold. And I literally, as soon as I finish talking about them, they're going back on my feet and they're not coming off my feet until the summer, probably. So just before we wrap up the October favourites, I have decided to include my favourite book, kind of movie or TV show, and I just think it's a nice way to round up the month um, with some of the things that maybe I've been inspired by or really enjoying. So first off, the book that I've been absolutely loving is Amy Schumer's biography, The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo. Not only is it absolutely hilarious, she's so, so funny, and there's so many laugh out loud moments, but it's also so endearing. She shares stories from her life that make you cry. And I never knew as a person that she actually went through so much. So it really is one of those books that will make you laugh, it'll make you cry. And it just, I think she speaks to all women, the things that she feels about like body image and stuff like that. She really, um, it's just amazing. I, I really, I can't recommend it enough. And there's also a lot of laughs like that. She's hilarious. So yeah, that has been definitely my favorite book of the month. For a movie TV show, I would say that my favorite this month has definitely been a TV show and it has been RuPaul's All Stars Drag Race. Um, I've mentioned this on my YouTube channel a few times before, but I'm a huge, huge Drag Race fan. It's like my favorite show ever. And they recently um, started their second season of All Stars Drag Race, which is basically contestants from some of the previous seasons. It was just amazing. It's probably one of the best seasons of a reality show that I've ever seen. Um, RuPaul actually won an Emmy this year as well for the show and it's just so so good. So there you have it guys. There is a nice book and TV recommendation for you if you're looking for something new to kind of check out this month and yeah I hope you enjoyed my October roundup. Uh, as I said there will be links to everything in the description below so if you're curious about any of the products just check out the description box. All of the info will be there and if you've tried out any of these products yourself do let me know in the description below. I would love to know what you think of them and if you liked this video then feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you have not already then be sure to subscribe subscribe to my channel. I will leave the link in the description below. I post two new videos every week so there is so much for you guys to see and I would love to have you back for more videos. So that is all for today guys. I will see you on my next one. Bye!